Hey, how's it going everybody? So, uh, on stream lately I've been having viewers ask me to start doing Forza videos. Um, I was reluctant a lot about it because, you know, YouTube uh, takes a whole lot of extra effort on top of streaming. Um, decided to give it a go though. And uh, today we're going to start out with some, uh, some auction sniping tips and then some filters that can help you guys out. I've had a lot of requests for this, especially because people come into my stream asking for tips all the time. And I actually have viewers come out you know, the next day or a couple days later and tell me that it's been super successful. They made a lot of money, sometimes even the same day. I mean, we recently had a viewer who was around the 700K mark. Within a day or two, he had 200 million, a bunch of rare cars. We have viewers come back that, you know, have under a million, two million, and then they come back and say they've got anywhere from 40 to 100 million. Um, that being said, I wanted to jump into a couple filters for you guys, but before we get to that, I wanted to tell you guys basically like the base of auction sniping just real quick for those of you who don't know and then uh a couple extra little hints that um basically ensure that you guys are doing this in the most efficient way um so to kind of kick it off um a lot of people don't even know what auction sniping is i'm just gonna like i said i'm just gonna brush over the basic concepts really quick um basically it's getting a car that's worth x amount of money for much cheaper than you can sell it for and Something I find a lot of people have a problem with is uh, figuring out what a car's actual value is. And the value is honestly whatever people are going to pay for that car. So it's it's not what you'll pay. It's not, you know, the highest amount that it goes for. It's what people will pay. At, and I usually go for, like, the bottom most dollar. Um, that being said, you can look at stuff like Evos. Like, I, I have prior knowledge of the Evo. And the, the reason I'm using this example is because everybody knows what it is. Fastest car in the game. You know, they very rarely pop up in the auction, but when they do, they're they're 20 million or they're 8 million. A lot of people instant buy them for 8 million. Um, they go up a lot to snipe, but they're extremely hard to get because of the competition with them and how fast the people who are sniping them are, you know, are doing it. And, and since there's so many people doing it, they don't even have to be fast. There's just such an influx that it's like they could get a better timing on you with the search and, and you're not going to get it. But um, that being said... Uh, to find out what something's actually worth, what you're going to want to do is basically just look for the lowest price that's posted. Super simple concept. This isn't, you know, rocket science. Um, find a car that's, you know, semi-popular and just and just find what the lowest price you can buy that for is. And not, that's the value at the end of the day. Because the lowest price is what people are going to pay for. I mean, people sometimes do buy the max buyout, obviously, because people are lazy. They buy from the top of the list. You name it. But at the end of the day... It's, it's lowest price is really what it's price is, and that's what you're going to be guaranteed to sell it for, and that's what we're looking at because what you're guaranteed to sell it for is what you're guaranteed, you know, you know you, allows you to calculate profit, basically. So, like, you can see a lot of GTAs, GT86s are 11 mil, 10 mil, you know, so, like, we can filter that down to 9 mil, see if they're... So, there's one at 9 mil. So, now you can evaluate that the price of the GT86 is anywhere from, like, 9 to 10 mil. That's the lowest prices that they're getting posted. There is a lot up for 11, a lot up for 12. So... You could technically post it up for those prices. It may sell. It may not. You could post it up for an hour, maybe two hours, three hours. See how it does. See if it sells. If it doesn't, lower it. At the end of the day, you're gonna, you know you're going to get 9 mil. So I have a 50% rule. I prefer to go under the 50% rule because obviously more money is better. More prop is better. But uh, my 50% rule, uh, you just you want to buy the car for half the price. You know what I mean? So when you're sniping, you're looking for a GT86 for 4.5 mil. Preferably under three, four mil. And honestly, a lot of people post them up for 138,000. You need to capitalize on those deals. You need to be paying attention to it. When you're sniping, another tip. This is something that a lot of people don't know but should know. Obviously, you can see that GT just sold for nine mil right in front of us. Um, don't do this where you click on the auction. You're never going to win a snipe clicking on the auction. Then you go down to buy, all that stuff. It takes too long. The fastest way you're ever going to snipe stuff is use the auction options. You hit Y in my example. Go down one, and then you basically just spam A because you hit buyout, and then you hit yes. Boom. You're going to want to focus the whole time you're doing it. A lot of times when I'm streaming and stuff like that, I, I, you know, I lose track of what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention, and I see a car pop up. I'm too late. You know what I mean? You got to be paying attention. You got to get ready to hit it, go down, and then spam immediately. That's, that's how you're going to pick up the cars the fastest. You never want to click on it and go into the auction details and all that stuff. You're going to lose time. You're never going to win auctions. I had a lot of people who had that problem and didn't know that that's what they were doing. Most people know that you can use auction options. If you do, good. Moving on to the more the complex stuff, you know, obviously we covered the basics, you know, how to evaluate price, what prices you should pay, what things you can make money on, what you want to shoot for. I wanted to give you guys just a couple filters to get started on. Um, 
they're not anything crazy complicated or anything like that um as you guys know when you're searching a car this is a faster way when you have you know like a max buyout set which is the max price you're going to want to set that, that you're basically willing to pay so a good example for this is like say you're trying to snipe gmc's which are really great to snipe right now and and i've got a good filter for you guys to use for that there's the cyclone the typhoon and the vendera I'm willing to pay, you know, five mil or less to get a Typhoon or a Cyclone. Because if I'm paying five mil or less, then I'm making profit. I know that these cars, I know these cars sell for anywhere from 15 to 19 million. And they actually will sell for that. So you can see Cyclones are at 16 million. We head over to Typhoons. Typhoons are at 19 million. Those are going to sell for that. You know, not every single time you might have to repost it, but they're going to sell for that. And if not, you can lower it a little bit, but never go from like a 19 mil buy to an 11 mil buy it. You're losing too much money at that point. Keep posting it for 19. It might get a little grueling. You might have to post it like five times, but it will sell. I guarantee you. within one, two, three, you know, uh, posts, it's, it's probably going to sell. And then, um, obviously, these filters aren't going to work forever. Um, I'm, they're going to work for a pretty pretty good amount of time from this exact moment. But um, a big thing, a big problem that I had when I was sniping was the improper use of filters in the fact that I was, I was either sniping like, just a typhoon or just a cyclone or just a gt86 or just a trainer and it wasn't time efficient and it wasn't efficient as far as a sniping method goes you want to be able to have the most cars worth money in your searches at, at a time that way you're getting you know the maximum amount of profit you're not missing a cyclone while sniping a typhoon you're not missing a typhoon while sniping a cyclone and obviously i can't put like toyotas and gmc i mean you might be able to put that type of stuff in the same category i doubt it but like there's a lot of auction options in the advanced settings which is your x for me and and you guys can play with that and mess around with it and find filters that show specific cars that are worth good money something i really like to use is source unique cars this pops up with most most of the time the valuable cars and whittles out the non-valuable cars now that being said for whatever reason if you search like this after you set an advanced filter it'll go away so you can see i have unique filters on i click confirm it searches unique cars typhoons and cyclones but it doesn't pick up the the vandera but now if i click this again and i search it's gonna pull up it's gonna pull up the vandera as you guys just saw there because it actually deleted that unique car filter so it's gonna take a little bit more time to like to basically go through the searching thing but once you get the timing of pressing the buttons down and stuff like that it starts to become pretty fast and you get used to the timing of it and basically this unique car filter like i said gets rid of that vandera in this specific gmc category and you're only sniping typhoons and cyclones at that point and that way you're not going to miss a cyclone you're not going to miss a typhoon you're making the most of the time you have while you're sniping so what we can do is we can do that and then like i said i'm, I'm willing to pay five million or, or less because i know i'm going to make you know 15 to 19 million you start to get up into that 11 mil range you're losing money on fees it may not sell you're only making a few million profit which for a lot of people is 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 great but i'm i'm looking for more of the big wins and stuff like that um i don't want to waste my time waiting for somebody to post like 10 mil gmc cyclone or typhoon or stuff and honestly it doesn't happen that often because if they're going to sell for 10 or 11 they're going to sell for 16 or 19 because obviously they need money so they're going to go for the max amount of money or they're going to sell it for nothing it, there's usually no in between now this is a great filter like i said i don't think any of them are going to pop up right now i'm not going to you know sit here waiting for them to pop up but this is a great filter you can use like i said for me i'm on a switch controller i know that's weird it's just like the only wireless controller i have because i don't have an xbox i play on pc but uh you basically search it and then for me i press a to hit search x and then a again and i just keep doing that over and over and over again and obviously they're not popping up right now but like it's it's pretty common i mean the other some days i'll get you know four cyclones four or four typhoons or an intermix of them in like five minutes and the one day i got 10 in 40 minutes that's a ridiculous amount of money like that's 150 million in 40 minutes that's worth it and you can find something to do watch youtube videos you know i talk to my stream chat while i'm doing it like you don't have to be 100 percent focused on this you just have to be paying attention so if a car pops up you know what i mean but yeah, this is the a nice GMC, you know, money making uh, filter. And then uh, another one I have for you guys that you can uh, give a go is um, Toyotas. Yeah, obviously, if you play this game, you know that Toyotas, a lot of them are worth a lot of money. Trainos, uh, 98 Supras aren't worth too much, but this filter whittles them out. 92 Supras are worth a lot, and that'll be even the filter. MR2s, GT86s, Corollas, which are a million. The lowest one you're going to see is the Celica 94, and that's, you know, usually about 700, 800, 900K. Sometimes it gets up to a million, but not too often. You can see it's it's up there right now. 
I'll put a million. So you can make some pretty easy money. You know, you do your half rule. That's all of them. Lowest car is going to be about 500K. So for this filter, you're going to want to do the same thing as the GMC one. You keep everything on. And what you do is you go down to these unique, the source, all unique cars. Slap this down to like, you know, whatever you want to pay. Five, six hundred. Obviously, you have to play. You have to play the price to the lowest car. Because I don't want to snipe a Celica for 800K. And you're trying to be fast with it. So you got to get it right on the dime. So you don't really have time to hesitate and look at the car and look at the price. You have to trust the price. You have to trust what car is popping up. You have to trust that you, you know what you're doing and that you're going to make money. So you put Toyota 500K, unique cars, pop it up. You're not going to see anything, you know, right away all the time. But you're, you're going to get cars from these filters. I sniped a Trano for 400K. I sniped GT86 for 138K all the time. Especially back when they were 20 million. And I made over 200 million sniping GT86s. You know what I mean? Like, you just gotta you just gotta play with this stuff and mess with the filters and be dedicated to it a little bit. I have a buddy who got so addicted to getting these cars that he basically did this all day and, and made two hundred million in two days. You know, it's it's that simple. I made I made one hundred fifty million in forty minutes. Like that's it doesn't take that much time out of your day. It's worth it if you love the game. You get any cars you want. You know what I mean? You don't have to pay full price for cars. If you guys understand how sniping works and you understand the concepts, you can just snipe for those cars you want. Put a little bit of time into it. Put 30 minutes into it. Instead of spending 20 million, which is going to take you much more than 30 minutes to go and earn in the game, you can get a $20 million car just by sniping it for 30 minutes. And then you keep all your money. And I'll, I'll just show you guys real quick. So these are the cars that are in this filter. You know, obviously I don't have it limited by 500K right now. You're going to limit for 500K so you can get the snipes. But you got the $1 million Celicas, the $13 million GT86s, you know, all this, all these great, great, great cars. You're going to get Corollas, more GTs, Supra 2.0. It whittles out the 98 Supra because it's not a unique car. So that's what's awesome about this filter. It puts the MR2s in there, the GT and the SC, which is also dope because those sell for $2 million pretty much guaranteed. They're semi-rare cars, and they're really fun to have and drift with and play with. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much all I had, you, I had for you guys today. I just wanted to show you some filters that work. They'll make you some money. Get some get some dollars in your guys' pockets. You can see, like, I've got a pretty nice collection of cars. I mean, not the best thing you've ever seen. I don't have every single car in the game, but I have pretty much all the rare ones. Um, It works. I mean, it definitely works. You, you, can make, you can make a ton of money. You can get basically anything you want in the game. I mean... 599 formula drifts i mean i sniped all of these i sniped these corvettes i sniped my cyclones i sniped my gt or my uh, my typhoon i've sniped all the gt86s i want i have the gym kind 10 we're 10 million I, I have all this stuff five unicorn v2s not just the normal unicorn but five unicorn v2s that's all from sniping anybody can do this you guys can get the rarest cars in the game and have the most fun you've ever had Definitely, definitely worth trying out, guys. If you're if you're nervous about sniping, I find a lot of people are a little bit finicky about getting into it. Don't be. It's super easy. It's super fun. Anybody can do it. If you're on console or PC, it doesn't matter. You're not going to win them all on Xbox because sometimes the loading screens are a little bit slower. But keep consistent. Keep trying. Keep putting in an effort, and you guys will find success doing this. I've had people on console successful doing it. I have people on PC successful doing it. It's, it's worth it. It's awesome. On top of that, real quick, guys. Uh... If you guys are interested, um, stop by my stream anytime. Same name as uh, YouTube. It's it's super fun. We have a great environment. Um, if you're interested, you guys are fully welcome to join my club. I, there's no restrictions. Anybody can join. Feel free to hop in. Uh, the Picky family, super cool. We all play together. We drift together. We do drift competitions on screen for uh, on stream for cars. You can earn cars with channel points in my stream. We do random giveaways for cars. We do races for cars. We do the festival plays together. We're one big, one big happy family. Feel free to stop by the stream anytime you guys want. Appreciate your support so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps so much with the algorithm and all your support helps. Um, appreciate you guys and hope to see you come by the stream sometime. Thank you. Have a good day.